Welcome to the Crown Point Community School Corporation Elementary Math at Home Support video. My name is Joe Bicek and I am the Crown Point Community School Corporation Elementary Math Specialist. Some goals of this video include a brief introduction to the Crown Point Community School Corporation Elementary Math Curriculum, learn what's in the Buzz Math at Home Support folder, and learn possible ways for you to help support your child at home. The Crown Point Community School Corporation math curriculum consists of bridges. Bridges has three components, investigations where students learn different skills and concepts, workplaces, which are games that help develop your students' computational fluency, and number corner. Every month there are different workouts that help preview and review content throughout the school year. We also have Dreambox, which is an adaptive computer program that helps students at their specific levels. For additional information on these two programs, you can go into the Math Home Support folder in Buzz and go to the Bridges Overview video and the Dreambox Introduction video. You may be asking yourself, how do I get to the Math Home Support folder? In every math course, there is a Math Home Support video and you can find those videos right here in the folder. Every grade level looks exactly the same. Inside each grade level's math home support folders are the unit letters. These unit letters give an introduction to what your child will be learning in the unit. They also give problems and how they are solving them. They also answer frequently asked questions about the unit and describe why your child is learning in a specific manner. Where can I turn if I need more ideas on how to support my child at home? Within each of the folders is also the basic fact strategies. These strategies explain how your child learns the different addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division strategies. Here are just a few examples of what you may find within those folders. There's also flyers for suggestions at what you can do at home when your child may be struggling with their assignment. There is a flyer on asking questions, learning from mistakes, and having a growth mindset. Additional questions that you can ask to help guide your child's thinking at home include, what have you been working on in class that might help you with this problem? What do you notice? How might you get started with this problem? What strategy do you want to try first? What are you struggling with? Have you solved any problems that are similar to this? How did you or one of your classmates solve it? Is there a picture or model that might help you think about it? Inside the Math Home Support folder are the Math Apps. These apps are great for manipulatives that your student has been using in school. So for example, let's say that your child has been working with base 10 pieces. You can simply go to the base 10 pieces apps right here, and your child can use the manipulatives that you are using in class. One of the apps that is really good, especially when you may come to a word that you don't know, is the vocabulary app. The vocabulary app allows your child to practice words that are used in class or look up words that they may not remember. Simply click down here to choose your cards, select your grade level. Let's say I'm a fourth grader and I'm working on the different names of triangles. I can simply click on the word that I want, click done, and here you will have the word. There will be some picture examples and there will also be a definition of the word that you choose. Also within the folder is the Math at Home website. The Math at Home website is from the Math Learning Center, which is where our Bridges curriculum comes from. You simply need to select the grade level, and then the sets at the top refer to the units of instruction. The Bridges Math at Home website is a great tool for you to use. So let's say I'm in grade one and my child is in unit four. I would go to set four for unit four. There is an intro to what they are learning in the unit 
And there's also different activities that you can do with your child at home. Also, for some fun things to do are some of the workplaces that your child has been playing with in the classroom, and there are instructions for it. And then you can play the game digitally with your child to help build the concepts that they are learning. Dreambox Learning is also another component that we have that is available for you to use at home. Dreambox is an adaptive program that works at your child's level. Here are some tips to help for success for Dreambox at home. Your child wants to use their headphones and listen to what the activity is telling them to do. Also, use the help button and use the hint button. It is important to know that Dreambox is most successful when students complete five lessons a week. Students also need to complete these activities independently. If a student receives help, Dreambox will not be able to adapt to what your child is thinking and might give them activities that are not at their level. For additional help with how you can support your child at home, there are additional videos on how you can help. Thank you for watching the Math at Home support video.